as anyone seen Newcastle as a European tour? You dirty, rotten, barcode, magpie bastards. No European football for you, eh? Who's that team they call United? Man United. So take that. We've beaten Man City by two goals to one to win the FA Cup. I won't be over celebrating it. Others will. But I'm sure the Tanag, you know, fanboys, I mean, they lost their boyfriend, the top reds, De Gea, and now they're going to lose their bit on the side, uh, Tanag, because he will go. You do know that, don't you? I mean, Mourinho won two trophies, didn't win us the league. He's judging how many league titles and Champions Leagues you get. You know, Man City won't be bothered about that defeat. It'll hurt a little bit, but I don't think it'll hurt um, too much. I think it has been a horrible season, and finishing eighth uh, is unacceptable. Van Gaal got sacked straight after winning the FA Cup. Van Gaal was crippled with injuries. No one had uh, uh, defended him. I was the only one who defended him. So don't expect me to defend your boyfriend and you're bitten aside Tan Hag. Yeah, we're in the Europa League. Big deal, so what? So I, the only reason I wanted to win against Man City was because it stops Newcastle getting Euro European football. And they, you didn't finish above us, by the way, Newcastle. So it doesn't count. We finished at level on points. So basically it's a draw. It's only the goal difference that you were one up against us. And it's like with Mourinho, when he had that long home record of not getting defeated at Chelsea. They drew nil nil with Charlton Athletic in 120 minutes. They lost on penalties. And Mourinho said, uh, Charlton didn't win, it was a draw. So I'm going to have the same uh, belief. Isaac is going to go out the door. He's going to go to a big club. He won't stay in your shithole for far too long. Isaac will go. Right? Because you can't keep your top players because you're not a big club. You're not a top club either. So I hope it chokes you. Right? Giving it the big one. You're not anymore, are you? Revenge of this best of call. We beat you in the league. And we beat Man City to stop you getting European football. And I'm absolutely loving it. And where's the McTominay haters? McTominay's not good enough. McTominay was outstanding. That was one of the best performances he's put in in a Man United shirt. He was absolutely fantastic. He's got more, more trophies than Declan Rice. Right? Just to let you know that. And McTominay didn't cost any money. And Declan Rice cost about a kin's ransom, £105 million. Pounds. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy for a bad average player like Rice. But McTominay's now won the League Cup. He's won the FA Cup. So anybody says he's not good enough to win two trophies. Won more trophies uh, than Declan Rice. And he's won more trophies than others as well. And I also think what was significant is Casemiro got injured during the warm-up and he wasn't on the bench. We lose that match if Casemiro plays because he's been a liability this season. I said last season when we beat Liverpool and lost to Liverpool. 7-0, uh, the worst defeat in living memory, the worst and painful defeat I've ever suffered as a Man United fan, just like every single Man United fan suffers because they don't praise Liverpool. Uh, Actual Man United fans. They're the enemy. And you do well to remember. So, Tanak fanboys, you'll probably be on suicide watch, won't you? At the moment. Yeah. But Casemiro, I'm glad we're getting rid of him. Can't wait really to see the back of him. And I'm glad to see the back of, uh, of Iran. And hopefully, in the next 48 hours, it's confirmed that Tanak goes. Now, it's better to bow out on a high, right? Rather than go out on a whimper. So, he's gone out with a ban. You know, he stopped that trophy drought of five and a half years. He deserves credit for that. But I said before, we were, we were a cup team like the 70s and the 80s. We did to City what other teams did to us when we were going for a double or a treble or a, or a quadruple or whatever you want to put across, you know? Uh, O'Nana made some great saves in the second half. I was very impressed with him. Uh, defensively, saw as a rock. No complaints on that score. I thought City were punch drunk. It's like they still have had the handover. Um, over the FA, uh, the Premier League win. And now they've lost the FA Cup. And they'll be licking their wounds. Uh, and so will Tanag fanboys in the next couple of days. You know. And Varane's left on a high. Um, and every single time you get new owners in. Or investors in this case. They always want to pick their own man. You know. That, that's the nature of the beast. So you can't moan being the, if you're a Tanag fanboy. Because we're eighth, we finished 8th league. Crashed out of the Champions League. This, this is a good win. It's a good, it's a good trophy, but I'm not going to over-celebrate it. Because my standards are high, not low.
Right? I have five stands. We used to have five stands at football club. And win the League Cup and the FA Cup in two seasons doesn't do it for me. We already won the League Cup once. And we already won the FA Cup once as well. So, cry more. But apart from that, it's been a, ter- it's been a terrible season in the league. Good uh, end of the season. But the man's just got to go. I'll never change my opinion on that. He's got to go. And Casemiro's got to go. And Varane's got to go as well. And Anthony Chatiel is going as well. Get in there! Come on! Where's all these Martial uh, fanboys? I hope you're crying as well in 40 hours when he does at the end of the month. Next month. But he leaves Man United. So, that's it for me for the season. I bid you goodbye.